Eddie George. It is always so good to have you here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. And I figured you've participated in a training camp or two in oh, your yeah. day. Uh-huh. You've uh, you've experienced a couple of these. So it only made sense to ask you about Titans training camp and especially what they're trying to achieve in the first mm. week, week and a half of a training camp. What does this team need to get done? Um, I think acclimation, one. I think you go from the, the next phase of OTAs into camp and then that carryover. You want to see that carryover in terms of chemistry that's been developed in camp. Um, you've got some new bodies that came in. You know, DeAndre Hopkins, you know, whoever the quarterback's going to be right now, Ryan Tandy, you want to see how that that chemistry is going to happen. You have some bits and pieces and parts you're trying to put together from a roster standpoint. Um, you know, you know, you know what you're going to get out of out of your your mainstays and Derrick Henry and uh, some of the other guys. So he probably won't get as many carries as he, or many opportunities um, because he's a key veteran. Because you know what he can do. You want to keep him healthy for the season. The guys who are really learning how to practice together are those younger guys. A guy like Tajay Spears. You've been a young running back in the National Football League. He's a rookie, just kind yeah. of figuring out how this is all going to work. What is it important for him to learn in the first couple weeks of camp? Uh, the pace of play. I'm um, pretty sure, you know, the first day in pads, he's probably running full speed, you know, during the walkthrough. So it's just getting the, the energy right and having that level, level off. It's full of butterflies. It just, I mean, any young person is coming in. They want to impress. They want to do anything and everything above and beyond the call of duty just to, to be ready and to, to serve and, and to make your name, you know, um, uh, within the organization. Somebody that we've already seen go through that maturation process mm -hmm. is Derrick Henry. Mm -hmm. He is not new to training camp. He is not new to this team. And his goals have got to be really different when it comes to going through a training camp and the mm -hmm. process for him. As someone who's also been a veteran player who's had a lot of a success mm -hmm. and has established themselves, what is he trying to do in the first couple weeks? Because it's so dramatically different from a lot of other people on this team. Well, knowing Derek's mindset, it's no different than his rookie year. He's probably coming in hungry just like he was as a rookie. Um, because, you know, in this league, somebody's always trying to get trying to replace you. And, and given the state of where running backs are, um, we all know what's being said. Um, they'll be valuing the position and so forth. He's got probably has something to prove. Um, that's really up to the coaching staff to kind of do load management when it comes to Derek. Um, I just typically believe a guy of his stature and his ability and his mindset that he's not thinking about load management. He's like, listen, give me the ball every play. And, and that's what you want. And you allow the coaches to, main, to, to manage that. Um, so I, I know he knows what to expect. He knows it's going to be hot. He knows and understands the process of preseason. Um, that he's not going to see a lot of time in, in these games. It's, it's mainly to for the bottom half of the roster that uh, the majority of his work is going to be in practice, that he's going to have to get in game condition and practice. Everything in practice is like a, a game for him. All right, we've got to get a TSU update before we <laughs> let you go because yes. you guys are about to start kind of your preseason oh, practices yeah. and yep. you're getting ready to go. You've got a big game against Notre Dame on September oh, who's 2nd. Who's that? Is <laughs> Very exciting. Yeah. How has knowing that that game is coming up kind of motivated your team throughout the offseason? Well, it's, it's we got to start fast. I, I think it's definitely a tension getter for us. It's going to be an exciting experience. Uh, the guys have been looking forward to this game for well over a year. That the, uh, the opportunity to go play in one of the greatest venues in all of sports against a brand like Notre Dame, um, is, it's once in a lifetime. I'll tell you, there's a lot of excitement about football yeah. just in this city. It's time for some football. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it is time. time to bring it back. Eddie George, thank you so much for hanging out thank with us. You, thank great you, thank you. Absolutely. Great seeing you too.